I had a problem with my Seat Leon uh, Mark III. The clutch pedal was sticking to the floor. So I bled the, the clutch to see if there was any air trapped. There wasn't. And so I'd heard by a friend that the slave cylinder might be the problem. So this is what we're looking at here in this image. The replacement that I got, um, it's incorrectly labeled up uh, somewhere. On here it says clutch master cylinder and it says it's for several Audis and Seats. It's not a clutch master cylinder. This is a slave cylinder. So it's an external one, which means it's relatively accessible. So the tools needed for the job, I needed to use an 11 mil spanner to uh, do the bleeding first of all. I used a 10 mil socket with an extension bar and the ratchet handle here because I needed to take the battery out. Uh, with the battery out, I then needed to use a 13 mil socket again with the ratchet and I also used a 13 mil spanner as well to actually remove the the two bolts for the, the slave cylinder and then finally a pair of pliers to release the, the clip so the reason we take the battery out and uh, the sort of like bracket housing kind of stuff is because our slave cylinder you can just see the the valve there and you can just about make out uh, one silver bolt head there and then another silver bolt head sort of you see this spring so you've got a forward and an aft location so those two need to come out and then there's a hose sort of uh, here that connects up and there's a little clip there so that's why we need to get this stuff out of the way and to remove it start with the negative which is the black put our 10 mil socket on that Up out of the way, and then onto the, the positive. So, with our thirteen mil on the little bracket or clamp. Then we've got one, two bolts. There's a cheeky one down in here, and then there's a nut there. And you have to change again back to the 10. So as it happens, I managed to drop a socket down here. It just popped off when I was putting it together. So we've got an improvised magnet taped up on a length of wire for a bit of flexible rigidity. And that's the thing. So here we go. Panic over. Okay, so now with our 10 mil, there we 
the clip. Get that out of the way. There we go. So now we can see our one, two bolts. And just under here, we can see our connection to this hose. So for the slave cylinder, you can get a 13mm socket on a ratchet handle on the aft location. And you can work it loose. But not on the forward location is a 13 mil spanner now if you've got a ratchet in one brilliant if not it's just a case of moving it and once that is loose you'll be able to get at the clip that connects the hose to the slave cylinder <laughs> but without <clears throat> releasing this and getting a bit of movement you can't actually reach the clip so you've got to take the two bolts out first and then do the clip okay so it's a bit difficult to show with one hand but the idea is you get one part of your pliers on the clip and then the other on the, the head. And it pops. So when this is in situ, you won't be able to access the other one because it's on the underside. So really what you have to do is sort of from the from the top, grab hold of it and just pull it through. On the end there, it sort of opens it up enough the hose to be free. If I pop it back in place, you can't see particularly well, but that is now pushed down and it clamps around the hose. So on a Seat Leon Mark III, it is dot four brake and clutch fluid. I got this one here, what is it, one litre, um, which is more than enough. There's still some in there, so I used that for the bleeding. And then I bought this uh, from Euro Car Parts, this little bleeding kit. So the idea is you need to uh, put a little bit of, of the, the brake and clutch fluid in there. Um, there's a little hose internally so that when you pump to try and remove any oxygen, it doesn't drag any of the, the air from the bottle back into the system if it if there is any kind of uh, sort of suction from the bottle back into the system it'll take the brake fluid um, it's got a handy little magnet there um, and a hose the hose wasn't quite the right uh, size but um, I had to just uh, hold it in place So this base needs to go back in, you got your three locations for the bolts and then the knot as well. Just do them by finger first, finger tight. So 
Actually, 10 mil extension and ratchet handle. Left handed as well. So then it's a case of putting the battery back in all the time. So <clears throat> with the battery back in, I want the bracket to go back in. So that goes in that hole. So I might just have to shimmy this around a little bit. There we go. Thirteen mil bolt. Hang the tight. So we're adding it back, so positive goes on first. Followed by negative. Just took so we're back to the ten mil. Good sign, battery's back in. Got some power. Here in the ignition. There we go. So it's just gonna run through all these. Little messages to let us know that it's getting back up and running. Go up down here. Clutch. It's working. It's a better view, isn't it? Doing exactly what it should. Happy days.